Sky Kids and welcome yet to another stream. This time, doing some really interesting and, and what can I say, uh, exciting patch notes. I'm very happy to be here with you guys. And in the meanwhile, I want the chat to go a little bit crazy so YouTube and Twitch chats can all of you guys just give me a spam of honks. Honk, honk, I want to see your best honk, it doesn't matter what it is. I just want to see you guys excited, shiny, yelling, just like you guys do in the game when you likely see me bonking my head everywhere I go. The, who, who dare say quack? It's a honk, not a quack. We, we are moths, not ducks. Though I appreciate the, the, the difference, we respect and we appreciate the differences. Yeah, I, I can do that, I can do that. Awesome, you guys. So... Beginning today, another patch note read, and it couldn't be any different, and, uh, you know, it couldn't be any different, because if I didn't invite this person to the chat, I'll probably get uh, jumped in the corner, but my really good, really sweet, and super strong friend, Tethys, is here with me once again. Hello, Tethys, how are you doing today? Hello, everybody, I am doing wonderful today. How, how are you doing, Tio? I am doing tired, <laughs> but tired is fun. And chat, can you guys please help me welcome Tethys? Can everybody just say hello, Tethys? All right. Hello, chat. Oh, 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 Tethys, what is your favorite emoji? Oh gosh, um, my favorite emoji would emoji or emote? Oh, uh, both. Why, why don't we do both. That? Hmm. Um, my favorite emoji, I'd have to say the cat salute that we have in our channels. And, uh, my favorite emote would have to be like the, oh, so cute <laughs> with all the hearts so, anywhere. <laughs> chat, if you guys have a cat, salute it or have it salute you. And everybody just pretend to be really cute as we welcome <laughs> Tethys to yet another patch note stream. And this time, 25. Oh, it's a pretty big mark, Tethys, don't you think? Oh, it's a huge, huge deal. And there's a lot going on in this patch notes too, and hence why I needed some help. Because other than, uh, it's already difficult for me to read in English, right? As you know. So if it's only me by myself, it's going to be rather uh, not understandable. So I, <laughs> I appreciate you being able to read this loudly and clearly to everybody with me. Thank you. Of so course, much. of course. Oh, you see, a lot of people in chat are saying that, hey, that they have cats and they're saluting the cat for you. Oh, thank you. I don't have a cat. I only have dogs and a bird, so <laughs> salute oh, your cat. Micro... <laughs> people are saying my microphone is not loud enough. How about now? I feel like a, a DJ at those smooth jazz radio stations. <laughs> you got the voice for it. You definitely have the voice for it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's more like a merengue uh, voice, but I'll take it. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'll take a jazz. Is this better? It's good now. Sweet, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Tethys. Are you ready for this? It's been five minutes of, of CEO shenanigans and, and mm -hmm. April... Uh, Tethys, beautiful smile. I'll, I'll have you know, Tethys, that everybody at every single stream say how beautiful your smile is. So, Aww. yeah, just have that in your heart that your smile is brightening people's <laughs> days. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I smile uh, all so, the time. <laughs> I, I I do too, more than I should. At one point, I remember walking at the mall and staring at myself through the reflection of one of those displays, and I'm smiling at nothing. I'm just like, <laughs> and then I'm like, who is this person? Why why are you smiling like that? Anyways, guys, patch notes twenty five. Oh, there's a lot uh, happening here. I'm just gonna start reading the introduction and then. Uh, I'll play something really special for you guys before we proceed. So, greetings, adventurers. And again, thank you so much, uh, Sagome, for this wonderfully written uh, patch notes. If it was me, I would just be like, it's out. <laughs> but uh, Sagome was kind enough to, to write uh, all of this stuff for us. This patch is full of welcomes. A welcome to our latest season, a special collaboration event for a grand opening, new features, and most importantly, a huge welcome to PC early access players. So, welcome, guys. And whether you guys are veterans or new players, or if you are a new player, you probably don't know that, but you are a moth. 
within our community. Uh, whichever case, welcome. We're really happy to have you guys on, on stream, uh, on stream, on Steam and PC. <laughs> But that is, I think that works on stream too, because there was so many streamers playing Sky today. Did you notice that? That was crazy. Yes, I did. I know. I'm so happy to see it all. This is amazing. It was really endearing. And you guys, just to kick off Steam with the right foot, let me play something for you guys that I think is beautiful. And I'll get back to you guys shortly. Sorry if this is too loud. If it is, chat, just let me know. I will try to correct it. With no further ado... That trailer is something else, that is. How, how did you like that trailer? I love that trailer. It is so amazing. I, I mean, I'm so hyped up for the animation. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And honestly, a lot of people just couldn't wait to have Sky on PC. That's definitely a new way mm -hmm. of experiencing the game. And now it's beauty, right? And now it's uh, socializing. It's just a lot easier for folks to be able to type, especially me with my... Fat thumbs, as you guys probably have uh, seen on stream, I type nothing, typo mistake issues. Uh, and that's a full conversation I had that this uh, last stream. So <laughs> that's exactly I, I, how I, I feel you. I do the exact same thing. I am, I used to, my friend, amongst my friends, they called me the typo queen because I, every, every word or every other <laughs> word, you can't, you can't go without the typos. That, that's very cute. I, I, I wish I could call myself a typo queen too, but I'll settle just for. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> no, they're just kidding. Princess <laughs> is fine. That is, why don't you kick us off? Let's start reading Steam Early Access Begins. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So welcome Steam PC players. On April 10th, Early Access officially begins and we're making it a celebration for everyone to enjoy. Mark your calendars for these special in-game festivities. Double hearts and a mountain of treasure candles. As you have seen today, nope, it's not a bug. There are red candles in front of all the gates. So from midnight on April 10th until 11.59 p.m. April 16th, every heart gift or partial heart gift sent to friends will automatically double. Remember, this is applies to gifts sent during double hearts are active. During while double hearts are active. Let me get some English in there. Um, so if a gift is sent before April 10th or after 11.59 p.m. April 16th, it will not be doubled. There will also be a ton of treasure candles in the realms. Every day, there will be eight locations for treasure candles in each level from Daylight Prairie through Vault of Knowledge. That's 40 treasure candles to gather light from. 40. And yes, this is more than the numbers of treasure candles that we originally announced. Happy early access, everyone. We made it better. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> And then, oh, let me get my scroll here going. All right, so then, special traveling spirit visit. So our dancing performer. So the winner of last year's special traveling spirit community vote was the dancing performer. And they will be 
the second traveling spirit to visit after April 10th. So get ready for their arrival from April 25th through April 28th. So right you now, guys, have... yeah. Sorry, April, uh, Tethys. No, I, I'm, okay. I'm too excited. I'm too excited, and I'm glad the community is too. Right? Like it's yes. something that we've been uh, hearing the community pretty much shout to the hills. Right? Where is Dancing Performer? It's coming, guys. It, the time is finally here. So. Uh, Use that, that treasure candle bonanza that is live in the game and, and start collecting. It, it's it's fun time. It's cake time. It's red candles time. Absolutely. And so we have Sassy going on uh, coming this Thursday. And then we will have a tra uh, the dancing performer. And um, it's this is a perfect example of your votes matter. Your voice matters. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. And uh, we'll, may we'll do our best to do what we can <laughs> to make it happen. Um, so Emphasis on our best. Mention, Emphasis on our best. Our Please best, go ahead. yes. But not to mention, the companion queue will be permanently available to players on PC and Steam Deck. Find it in the event shop in Aviary Village for 50 candles. We've also had the special opportunity to offer the journey pack to players regardless of the platform they play on. This pack includes a cape and hood modeled after the iconic red outfit worn by the journey traveler, and it comes with a mask that gives your avatar a unique journey-inspired voice when you wear it. The pack will be in the game menu shop and will be continually available after the PC launch festivities wrap up. While Sky is in PC early access, Steam players will be able to play the full version of the game. The special early access period will ensure that the full suite of Steam PC features can be implemented and made to shine. This includes things like integrating Steam friends, Steam achievements, and support for remote play. It also gives us the chance to keep enhancing game graphics with HDR and VRR support, so please keep sending in your feedback as we work to make the PC experience the absolute best it can be. Exactly, guys. And that just goes to say that Although it says uh, early access, you guys are able to have the full experience. We just wanted to, to make it as best as possible for that platform, that being Steam. So just please uh, bear with us, but it doesn't mean that the game isn't fully released. It is, hence why we are already having this uh, release party bonanza with trailers, with uh, candle uh, cakes everywhere, uh, with the companion cube. So be sure mm -hmm. to be enjoying the game okay and by the way i have to say the steam deck is probably now my favorite way of playing sky it just looks so <laughs> gorgeous it is so beautiful yes. and, and i can yeah. actually do stuff <laughs> other than on my on my phone i can actually try to fly says the guy <laughs> bonks. the first thing i did this morning was bonk bonk yeah uh, no I, got, I downloaded it on my deck today too i was like yes but for Season of Nesting, you guys, starting on April 15th, Sky's latest season continues uh, in Aviary's Villages expansion, putting Sky children front and center with a new location ready to be made into something truly special. Head to the Nesting Workshop in Aviary, where the Nesting Guide awaits you. Talk to them to complete seasonal quests and unlock your very own nest in a newly constructed area of the village. Customize your nest with a few preset items provided or with props you already have on hand. And by the way, guys, uh, this is your time to shine. We cannot wait to see what you guys will do with your nests. Uh, I would love to see somebody doing a, a, a show my, my crib sort of thing. I would love to see that <laughs> on socials. Wink, wink, hint, hint. Please uh, hint. get ready for that. Hint. <laughs> yeah, big hands, big hands, because who knows, who knows, maybe you'll be able to have a, a, a nest of your own, just saying, maybe. and stopping here, and stopping here, looking for something to make your nest a bit cozier, this season's items have you covered, special displays in the nesting workshop are particularly focused on the core and offer a variety of wood hone, hone, hewn, 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 ooh, Of wood items. <laughs> From planters and hanging lamps to cozy sofas and a spot for your sky kid to catch a well-earned nap. The nesting guide offers two ultimate gifts, an outfit and a figurine with dual functions as both a prop and cosmetic. Pick any outfits, items from your closet to display on the figurine. You can place the figurine anywhere from your nest to your favorite realms. 
and Sky Kids who pass by, who also own the cosmetics and the figurines is wearing, can switch their outfits to match. Uh, Tetis, what does that mean in Sky Kids language? What that means is one of the ultimate gifts will be a, obviously a figurine. Everybody knows what a figurine is. Um, and you can style it. So you can make it look like you have specific uh, cosmetics that you, that you own. And you can leave it in your nest. And while others can then come in and they can actually put on those, that same outfit. However, they have to own their own. They have to own the cosmetics themselves. So does that mean I can have a mini me in my nest? You can have a mini you in your nest. And it can sit on your shelves, on your table. That's so cute. That's all I ever wanted. And I'll probably put mine where it belongs on the bed. Uh, where I wish <laughs> I hadn't left today. Uh, da -da -da. Speaking of well-earned nap, right? The nesting guide offers... Oh, we already read that. Da -da 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 -da. One more As time. for your nest... Yes. As for your nest, it's yours. As for your nest, it's yours to design however you want. Whether your aim is relaxing nook, a chaotic art house, or anything in between, privacy settings allow you to welcome friends for a visit too. So you can share a Sky Kid house party or inspiration for future nest designs. Uh, Tatas, do you know how you're gonna set up or decorate your your nest? Oh gosh, I don't know. I, I mean, like. There's, we're going to mention it a little bit later, but there's going to be so much stuff. <laughs> there's going to so be a lot of us. stuff to choose from. Yeah. So I don't know. It's going to, I think it's going to probably one of those ever changing, like depending on where I feel from month to month. <laughs> and, and you guys, I hope you are able to decorate. I, I am very bad at it. Like I, I believe my nest will look like uh, the floor is lava uh, sort of. <laughs> sort of set up you just like have to hop over everything because I, that's not my thing but i know you guys are gonna do an amazing job season of nesting begins at midnight april 15th and continues until 11:59 on june 30th the full season can be enjoyed for free by all players who have progressed at least through the hidden forest season pass holders will also have the opportunity to unlock additional seasonal items including the ultimate gifts Anything else to say, uh, Tetis, about Season of Nesting? Mm, I think the, it's best left until we get to the next portions of it. Let's, we'll wait, we'll wait, but wait a second. What? What is this? Do you see anything on top of you, Tetis? I don't know. What's on top of me? What, what is this? What? what is this? What? Uh, what is it? Look at that, you guys. It is Cinnamon Roll. Uh... <laughs> One of the most popular Sanrio characters is finally coming into Sky, you guys, and I, 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 I am over the moon with this. I am so excited. I love Cinema Row, and I can't tell you guys love it too, just by looking at the chat. Chat is going crazy. Kawaii, the cute thing, whose name I can't spell. <laughs> Cinema <laughs> Row is here. And that is why don't you introduce us to uh, Sky Cinema Row Pop-Up Cafe. Okay. A village isn't complete without a cafe, and it's finally time to open one in Sky. From 11 p.m., I'm sorry, from midnight, April 27th through 11.59 p.m., May 17th, join us for a collaboration event for the grand opening of Aviary Village's new cafe, featuring the beloved Sanrio character, Cinema Roll. This shy but friendly pooch knows a thing or two about cafes, and they'll be in Aviary Village for a special three-week celebration welcoming Sky Kids to the newest gathering place in the kingdom. During the event, you'll be able to find Cinema Roll in the cafe or out and about exploring Aviary Village. Complete, theme, complete themed daily quests as Cinema Roll explores the area, take snapshots with the festive decor, and of course, stop by the cafe counter to try some of the freshly baked light pastries that Tiptoeing Tea Brewer will be preparing for everyone. Please say that by, like, that's like a tongue twister. Tiptoeing Tea Brewer. <laughs> Tiptoeing Tea Brewer. Oh! <laughs> Success. <laughs> so keep success. So keep an eye out for event currency, five per day, which you can find through a themed daily quest, putting in an order at the new cafe, and taking pictures together with Cinema Roll himself. And this, while you're uh, there, event currency. Yeah, please mm -hmm. go ahead. No, I was gonna say, uh, do we want to go over pricing or do we want to just kind of say, you know, it's it's 
we've got it's it cute. there. It's cute. Okay, so you can the things you can unlock at the uh, cafe is a cozy teacup headband, a cozy cafe table, and cinnamon roll fans. Cinnamon roll fans can also find an item or two they wish to purchase as a memento of the grand opening. So there will be the cinnamon roll pop up cafe mini companion, which is a companion you perch atop your head to accompany you on your adventures. The Cinema Roll Pop-Up Cafe Bow Tie and Cloud Cape. Fluffy. The Cinema Roll Pop-Up Cafe Combo, which includes a swirled hairstyle and a head accessory modeled after Cinema Roll's ears. You'll still need a cape to fly, though. And Cinema Roll Pop-Up Cafe Plushie includes a function that allows the owner and any friends they're holding hands with to see the Cinema Roll decorations in the cafe even after the event ends when the plushie is placed on the mantle in the cafe. Please note that items with, from this collaboration event are not currently planned to return and free trial spells will not be available. The event is available to all players who have progressed to at least Daylight Prairie. Although the grand opening celebration will come to an end, the cafe will remain open in Aviary. Stop by to find help for your Sky Adventures, to offer your help to other players, or simply to say hello to the tiptoeing tea brewer. You guys, this is going to be absolutely cute. And uh, frankly, we needed a place to be able to enjoy uh, a hot drink and eat some cakes and the place has mm -hmm. come and there is no better sweetheart than cinema roll to be part of this uh collaboration i hope you guys enjoy it as much as i do and i can just tell that you guys will melt with the <laughs> cosmetics absolutely the melt i cannot wait cuteness. just like cup cupcakes frosting you guys are just gonna melt uh, Pethys, before before we move on, any anything in particular that you're dying to get for your Sky Kid? Oh, I am. I'm absolutely going to get the little head plushie because I have I have the bunny which I wear like all the time, and I need a new I need a new I need a new friend. Cute. By the way, guys, as the event progresses, it's very likely that I'm going to try to have a stream with you guys so we can maybe do, I don't know, take a bunch of photos together with Cinema Row. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I think we, we can have some fun uh, during that event and stay tuned for what is to come. But what is to come? New feature, stone furniture and the core set. Since player homes, and we're going back to Season of Nasty, and there is a reason why we separated this from describing the season in which uh, I'm going to let that discover after I finish reading this, okay? <laughs> Since players' homes, na homes or nests will be a permanent addition to the game, once the nesting workshop opens in Aviary Village, we are introducing another permanent addition to Sky, a rotating selection of stone-hewn, stone-made furniture in the cost. Sago made for crying out loud. Who uses that word hewn? Stone-made furniture and decor. This assortment of more than 50 items that can be unlocked over time and at your own pace using a variety of in-game currency similar to the cosmetics offered by the base game Constellation Spirits. With so many items to choose from, there is something to suit any vibe you might want to create to your nest. With that said, if you eventually find yourself wanting something a little different than this set on the, or the season of nesting items, well... For now, we will just say that this is a feature we have more plans, so stay tuned for future updates. And what does that mean, Tethys? That means that the stone furniture and decor set um, is something that you will see routinely and regularly in the the nesting workshop. So it's it'll there there will be a rotation of items. So let's say you you saw this lovely couch or or table set that you really really wanted to have, but you were saving up for and it didn't work out before it went away from the shop. Well, it will come back. It's going to be a a regular rotation of items. So don't worry. This is something to take your time doing, to enjoy, to to come back and say, hey, you know what? I'm going to get that. And it's, I'm going to add it to my home. Right. You don't have to get everything. It can just be what you want to get. It's um, just like decorating your own home. <laughs> like Absolutely. IRL. Absolutely. You go to a furniture store time. and you look inside and say, I want that table, but I don't want that couch. So I'm going to just get that table. <laughs> yeah. No rush. No rush, guys. Just be rush. patient and, and do something that really brings joy to your hearts. Uh, I think that's the whole point of Season of Nesting, right? It, it's a, 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 
it's making something that you feel comfortable, that you feel secure, that you feel protected by, and that you are comfortable bringing your friends over. So yeah, enjoy that. That's gonna be a really good time. And we also have additional new features, which is nesting challenges. Another feature arrives in this update, nesting challenges. Nesting challenges are permanent addition to the game and can be accessed through a special board in the nesting workshop once you start the third seasonal quest. There are three categories of challenges, each with their own tree. Once all challenges in a tree are completed, a unique interactive item becomes available to unlock for in-game currency. Some challenges are focused on, appropriately enough, your nest, while others can be done out in the realms. These are entirely separate from the season, so they can be completed over time as you play the game in your own style and your own schedule. Again, no need to rush. This is about you feeling comfortable building as cute of a nest uh, as, you, as you may. So take your time, guys. No need to rush. There's time yes. for everything. Yes, and it's also good to note here that these nesting challenges, when you go to these, the workshop board, they are not tied to the season quests. So the season quests are one thing. These nesting challenges are completely separate. You don't have to complete the quests on the board in order to complete the season and get the ultimates. It's just the season quests that are engaged for that part. So these take your time, enjoy it. Don't feel like you have to be pressured to get, you know, X, Y, Z done immediately. It can, it can take your time with it. Focus, focus guys. <laughs> Set your priorities and go for it, and go for it. And what's next in terms of new features coming up, That is, Why don't you introduce us to hard gifting for player creations? You got it. So Sky Kids have shared amazing designs over the years in the messages, music, and stories showcased in their player creations. In 0.25.0, we're adding something that we think will make it easier to show appreciation for the player creations you encounter and give more ways to connect with others, even if you aren't online, together. And not to mention, offer an extra option for gifting or receiving hearts. Beginning in this update, once you like a creation, the menu gives you an option to use three candles to send a heart to the creator of that message, shared space, or shared memory, similar to how you can send a heart to a friend. The recipient will be able to pick up their heart, or hearts, from the Daily Quest Shrine and Home, or the Friendship Constellation statue in Aviary Village. There are a few different differences with gifting hearts through player creations compared to regular heart gifts. So players can send a heart to the player who made a, a player creation, even if they aren't already friends. So let's say you follow a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer, and you find one of their creations, but you're not friends with them in game, you can still like it. You can still give them a heart. Player creation gifts, heart gifts, can be given in addition to regular heart gifts on the same day. So you can send an individual player a maximum of one heart through one of their player creations each day, regardless of how many player creations they have placed in the realm. So let's say I go out and I make six player creations, a couple shared spaces, a couple share memories, and a couple boat notes. If you find one, you can only give me a heart once, no matter how many times I put something out. But you can give hearts to as many player creations as you like. So let's say, but you know, not the same person is what I mean. So like if, if, if Tio and I and two other people, you can give them out to all of them and you don't have to be friends with us first. That is for the explanation. So, I will give you a little heart. You can't see it, but the chat can. Here's your heart. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> That's pretty much how it works, you guys. IRL, however. IRL, however. Uh, by the way, you guys, and this is a feature that unfortunately didn't uh, release along with uh, 25.0, but we are working on it and ideally going to be releasing that to you guys as soon as possible. We already have people actually working very diligently to get that going for you guys. So please, uh, apologies for the hiccup. Um, so also, this means a couple of other changes compared to how hearts from player creations worked before in this update. This replaces the previous system that rewarded one heart after a certain number of likes. So receiving a set amount of likes no longer results in a heart. However, players will still be able to like any creation they see. The creator of a message, shared space, or shared memory can also receive multiple hearts for a creation they've made. Um, we'll continue to fine tune this feature over time, and we hope this opens new possibilities for players to connect as they travel across the realms. 
So there you go, um, folks. Yeah. And then that's a note on just um, how it's it's not yet out, but will be. Yeah, it will be. It will be. Apologies for the hiccup this morning. But just be patient. I think it's going to be something really cool. I hope you guys enjoy. Let us know how you guys feel. Uh, we actually have a Discord server. If you guys are new here from this uh, Steam release, that it's a perfect place for you guys to leave your feedback. Uh, Tethys, what, what is the channel again? Uh, the channel is uh, Live Feedback. Live Feedback? Easy. How come I forget <laughs> It's <that>? very easy. <laughs> Li- it's so easy that, I, that it skips my mind. I'm, I'm expecting something crazy. Live <laughs> Feedback on Discord. Us. Yeah, or if you're joining us from the PC, we have a PC feedback channel as well. Live PC feedback. <laughs> Just kidding. Live PC, ah! <laughs> there you go. See? You see? Two can play this game. But I also, I'm also on Twitter, X, you guys, at Tio the Crab. Feel free to come hang out. Let me know uh, any afflictions or any new friendships you want to create. I am down for both. Cool? But now it's time for us to talk... Quite a lot. And I'm not too sure how we're going to be uh, doing this, uh, you guys, because there is quite a lot of updates, uh, improvements, bug fixes. So my in my mind, uh, I read a few, that is reads a few. If there's anything interesting, mm-hmm. chat, you guys yell <laughs> and we stop and discuss. Or that is if there's anything else that you'd like to stop and discuss a little bit, we are down okay. to do that yeah. as well. Totally but there's good. quite a lot. So take a breather. Get some water. All right, water is being drank. Yes. As we begin this, other updates. Traveling spirits will be able to appear in both aviary village and home. Yay! Ding, 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 ding. While I don't have the sound effects, I'll try to support you guys with what I can do. Ding! That's good. Good stuff. <laughs> We've added a bunch of polish and updates for shared spaces and other players' creations, like improved menu a- UI, a cancel option while in edit mode, and icons that indicate if something ha- was made by a friend or player whose creation you've opted to see more of. Uh, as mentioned in our 24-5 patch notes, in this update, the appearance of the nine-color deer has been slightly adjusted. And keep going exposed with improvements and bug fixes updates. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tethys, do you mind giving us some of the highlights? Sure. The so highlights based on player feedback. The default cheer- the default cheerful animations when liking a player creation were removed to avoid potentially inappropriate avatar responses depending on the content of a creation. Chat messages won't disappear from a text box if you tap outside of the box and close it before sending the message. Yeah, Made adjustment. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? I know. Yes. Chat, yes. yay! Yes. That's so that good. That's so awesome. I love Thank that. Thank you, TGC. Thank you, TGC. I never doubted you. <laughs> uh, we made adjustments to lighting to address a widely reported issue that lighting, particularly in darker levels like Hidden Forest and Golden Wasteland, had lost their color and become too dim. We fixed an issue with Performance Guide's hair, giving them an abnormally large head. Abnormally large head. I, for one, body. like abnormally large heads, that is. I, for one, really enjoy abnormally large uh, heads. So, you guys, uh, that's for you. But, yeah, moving on. But but it was fun. We fixed a bug in I've Eden that could randomly separate players who were holding hands. We have uh, elder masks worn by other players won't appear in their broken state when transitioning between levels. And the hopeful steward spirit can now be hugged after a player completes the third quest in their tree. So, for you daily questers... There's another spirit to hug out there. Well, that is somebody in the chat is saying that I already have an abnormally large head, so <laughs> that cannot be fixed, <laughs> you guys. You cannot that cannot be fixed. <laughs> but moving on, moving on. Want to know more about some other fixes in this patch? We will have more for you guys. Moving on. With yes, here they come. And appearances. Fix audio not playing consistently when diving. We restored sound effects for the sparkly prop available to use in shard spaces and Valley of Triumph. For shard eruptions, added bright beacon lights to distant meteor shards to help players find them from a distance. Woo, thank you. One eye of <laughs> Eden one eye of Eden is more than enough for the realm. So the doppelganger eye of eye of Eden mountain that was looming over Hermit Valley has been banished. <laughs> That that <laughs> copy was so funny. I couldn't believe what I was yeah. reading. That was that was so funny. Wow, Sagome. I take back what I said about your writing. That was funny. Uh, 
We fix for meshes and graphical corruption related to the season of season of the nine color deer mural and weird lighting in some spots in Crescent Oasis. When a player is being carried by a friend and then jumps off, their friend now properly sees them jump off. Unclipped some gnarly clipping that was <laughs> again. I love that. Unclipping some gnarly <laughs> clipping that was happening when a player was cradle carrying a friend and then took out their cr candle to light something in Eye of Eden. Uh, let me see if I am following along. Da, da, da. There you go. As as endless, endlessly fascinating as sky children are, it wasn't necessary for the camera to super zoom onto their heads when charging, <laughs> when changing the camera to certain angles while a player was floating on the surface of water. Uh, da, da, da. Hey, our, our 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 little our little uh, sky heads are very entertaining. Quite, <laughs> quite. Uh, fix a bug that caused some props to appear blindly bright in darker levels. Snowboard props should no now stick to the player's feet when they jump and scale properly when equipped on players using a huge or tiny spell. And I'm going to read this last one, that is, and then you okay. can take it over, please. We okay. fix broken textures on the Nature Sonora, sea Nature Sonora Seashell prop. That's so beautiful. I feel so smart. Mm -hmm. And the prop from the Play Fighting Herbalist. I must say, I really want to get super tiny now and use the uh, the snowboard so I can see it super tiny. <laughs> it feels like, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that would be cute. Uh, what, what would be that the would equivalent be so of a super tiny snowboard? Is it like a, a, a snow... Is it like those finger snow... skateboards? <laughs> <laughs> like a, a, a snow two by four almost? <laughs> All right, so let's go back. So we have race course prop lights won't remain visible when viewing a shared memory. Potential resolution to the season of remembrance ultimate gift lantern looking metallic. Fix the fur trim on the juggler cape in the 2020 Red Days of Feast cape from sinking into an avatar avatar's chest when looking down. We fixed an issue with certain shoes clipping with avatar's feet. And confetti cousin and playful parent capes now animate correctly while flying. Season of Moments and Season of Revival pendants won't clip into the neckline of the red cape from Stretching Guru. Patched a hole in the exhausted dock worker's mesh. We fixed laid-back pioneer hair clipping through Avatar's face during certain movements. Side hug emote animates correctly... Wait, side hug emote animates correctly when two players use it at the same time. Redistributed the candles in a more natural fashion along the main path of Aviary Village. And Hopeful Stuart won't stand in the wrong spot when you return from the Barber's Workshop. They also won't remain standing by the Resume Meditation Pad after a player has already used it. I almost said Resume. The cape from the Journey Pack won't clip with props worn on an avatar's back. Ooh. And Ooh. guess what? More general fixes and improvements. Yeah, Chad, do you guys want fixes. us to keep going? Yeah, do you guys want us to keep going? Are you guys interested in knowing fixes? We do this for you. We read this for you. And I'll tell you, I don't do a whole lot of reading, <laughs> as you guys can tell. <laughs> I, I ask a question and they laugh. Uh, that is, they that, laugh. That's how oh, our chat goes. Laugh. They, they laugh, yes, they laugh. Yes. Hey, Keep laughing, you know. folks. I, I'll take laughing as yes, read a little bit. So, <laughs> proceeding. Daily quest to recharge your light from a jellyfish or light mushroom can now be completed after recharging one bar of your energy meter. And that was the only reason why I wanted to read that one. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! That's awesome. Yay. Good. Yay. I'm ready for, for a daily quest now. Players will now be reborn in the level they choose as a loading point when finishing a storm run and completing the credits. Yeah, this one, yes, this one I have seen a lot in feedback, so you're welcome. <laughs> Yay! Much better. All right, uh, let me see. Updated the position of the moments guide at the start of the second moments quest to avoid clipping with the terrain. Made a change to prevent adding spells like shared memories during the final season of moments cutscene since the button overlapped with the snapshot button and prevented players from taking a picture. Uh, let me just arrange this real quick other players are no longer visible inside the glass jar alongside the rose while completing season of the little prince quests currency count isn't displayed when it's at zero using the set emote will break your hand held if you are being carried but not if you are carrying others meditation circles don't break players hand hold while sitting in, in those if those players are outside of the circle yay <laughs> <laughs> 
Made fixes to address Sky accounts not relinking after unlinking and attempting to relink them. That is, can you can you read that again three times real fast? No, <laughs> I don't think so. You can say t the, 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 the tea tea brewing thing, and you can do that. Are you serious? No. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Challenges. Challenges. Uh, you see, I keep with the shenanigans, and I keep forgetting where I was. Let, let me let me retract. Uh, Relinking, linking, linking. Uh, here we go. Added a new tab in the prop closet to help organize different types of furniture props. The jitterbug is cool old timey dance. What isn't a cool old timey dance? A bug that may play a jitter <laughs> and slide and move oddly. When picking up a plushy prop while you're using preview mode in a shared space, so that jittery bug has been fixed. Uh, so wait, I want to backtrack to you for one second. So we added a new tab in the prop closet to help organize different types of furniture props. I think this is a huge one coming into nesting season because we're going to need that. So can I get a yay from you? Yay! There you go. There you go. <laughs> now, should we go back to the jittery, 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 jittery bug? Jittery, jittery, jittery jitterbug? <laughs> <laughs> Getting jittery with it. Uh, if you are... <laughs> Uh, 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 90s uh, person, you will get it. If you're not, it's okay. It's okay. But but you missed some good stuff. Uh, da, da, da. If your load point is set to Aviary Village, the home button in the expression menu will no longer be disabled while you're in the home area. Cooldown for player creation spells unified to 30 seconds for all spells. Fix a bug that enabled functionality that a cape might have. Exem example given, teleporting. While previewing it before purchase, or caves with function unlock in the cape workshop. That is, do you mind taking us over when being led by a friend? Sure, you got it. So when being led by a friend in handhold, spamming emotes no longer gets you stuck in place. Fix a bug that caused an empty menu item to appear on the bottom of the screen when you collect heart fragments from a friend. Fix a bug where UI objects could overlap with the fireworks staff button. Fix the text overlap issue on a report on the report a player menu. All player creations should now be properly viewable to a player being led by a friend or other player who is viewing it. Survey buttons should no longer steal control over the camera when a controller is used. The two spirits who like to hang out together in Aviary Village are back on the beach. Aww. Mm. Removed invisible firework jars in Aviary Village. Players who have never visited Aviary Village won't suddenly appear there after completing a full run through of Eye of Eden. Chat props appear properly for other players. And hey, Android, this one's for you. Fixed sky codes returning a null error when Android players try to add friends. It's done. Yay! We're Yay! going. We're going places. Yes. Yes. Thank you, then. Yes. Thank you. Yes. So for iOS, we fixed Apple's native text translation feature not working for chat text input. And for PlayStation, fixed an issue that prevented the translation option from being selected in the chat log. Improvements for new player experience, including a cutscene to explain candles. And fixed crashes that could occur when spamming emotes or prop placement at the end of the bear hug hermit's race in the village of dreams. Other players won't crash in certain cases of playing the Days of Fortune drum after they join another player's session. Newer default hairs now persist through sessions. Woohoo! You can Woo! save that hair! <laughs> and let's see. Uh, fix a bug with the warp option in the friendship tree. So if a player has unlocked warp with a friend and then disabled warp with them, the friend can no longer warp to that player within the same area. Notifications are now batched to reduce the number of notifications sent. And should we read this one or should we uh, rock it out? Right. Maybe you should rock it out. Yeah, let's rock it out. Yeah, let's rock it out. So that's it for the patch read, you guys. Status. Uh, is there anything in specific that you are super excited about as we uh, start wrapping this up? Mm, let's see. Well, one, I'm really happy for Android players being able to uh, use Sky Codes again. That's that oh, yeah. is an absolute huge. must, yeah. huge improvement. So yeah, I'm excited for that. But I'm but for otherwise, I'm really excited for nesting. I I want to create my little home, and and enjoy my time there 
looking out the window. <laughs> just, it's it, it's a super cute, super cute thing to have in Sky, and I'm going to enjoy it immensely. And we just happen to know too, guys, that possibly watching the sunset through your own nest window is something that can be amazing. Uh, that is and I are working on something really cool for you guys too. So if I were you during season of nesting, I would keep an eye on our uh, social media platforms. And if you guys don't have it, I don't think I have it. Oh, I do. Follow us across the board. You guys will really have a good time. And if you are dedicated enough, I suppose, uh, you can get something very special. Something very, very special that few people will have. And, and it's something that... That is, and I are putting a lot of our energy into this, and I hope you guys yes. uh, will love it. I I love it, so I hope you guys will feel the same. So keep an eye on our social medias. Have I said too much already, that is? Should I stop no, here? I, I don't. Stop here? I, I well, I should stop here, but I don't think you said too much. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much. Uh, can we uh, have the chat appreciate that is for being here with us? That is, thank you so much. You know, I love you. I appreciate you being here with me and uh, pretending to laugh at my at my dad jokes. But are you kidding? Uh, I, you have great jokes. You have great oh. jokes. Or, as my husband says, maybe I'm just easy to laugh. But but whatever. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I need I need people who are easy to laugh in my life. Uh, <laughs> as as Chad does. Thank you, Chad, for for partaking and joining us here today. Uh, Pettis, you want to say your goodbyes and say thank you to chat? Thank you, chat. I always have a great time hanging out with you. Um, and I love you too. I love all of you guys and I will see you in the next one. All right. Thank you, Tetis. And here we go, guys. One more patch read for you guys. 25.0 is out. Go to Steam, hang out there. Uh, there is quite a lot. <laughs> it's beautiful. Uh, Sky on a big HDR screen is something to be experienced. With that said, I want to say some goodbyes. So let's see, let's see. Lou Loglishi on YouTube. Uh, her, uh, her partner in time on YouTube. Thank you so much, Maelstrom. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Koi Asia, Katsuki, Amber Light. Thank you so much for joining us here today, guys. I usually just leave from now, but I think I'm gonna give you guys some time to watch that trailer once again. Go ahead, call your friends, call somebody, call your sister, call your mom, call your grandma to watch that. And when they ask again, why you keep playing that game? You show them the trailer and they will understand. Go, go call them, I'll wait a little bit. Okay, enough time has passed. Enjoy the trailer one more time before we wrap, uh, wrap up. This is Tio, thank you for hanging out guys. I love you. Bye.